Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Clubo, and we are back in Pokemon Scarlet, and this is episode 25 of my series. I mean, I can't believe I've got to episode 25 already. And it looks like we've not even done a lot, but hey, this is the fun of Pokemon, and I suppose the fun of this series. So I hope you have been enjoying the series so far, and you have, please do let me know down in the comments below. But what happened in the last episode? Well, we went and continued leveling up. We did some terror raids for the first time as well. So solo, not for the first time, but we did them solo for the first time. And we got some EXP candies, leveled up our Pokemon a little bit. We got Bonzi up to level 31 and Crocolor up to 31 or 32 as well. So that really massively helped us. We then went back into Levincia and we took on Iono again and we managed to beat her. So we've now got our third gym badge, which is fantastic. So I think we are gonna move over to the Path of Legends into this episode. So if you are looking forward to that, then please do let me know down below. And also don't forget to like the video, share the video, and subscribe to my channel as well, as we have 20 subscribers. So it'd be lovely to see a few more of you join the party or join the family as well. So I think, yes, we are gonna go and head for this Titan over here. So I believe it is the Crab Titan. If I can remember off the top of my head, which is going to be weak against water, so we're going to get Quaxwell out. As Quaxwell is going to massively help with this battle, I'm sure, and help us turn the tide of it. So that is going to be our plan for today. But perhaps we might go and do a couple other bits along the way, which we'll see. There is a terror raid here. Are we going to take it on? Maybe not. Oh, it's an Eevee. A three star. Mm, probably not high enough level for this. So we will leave that one for now. So there was around this time when I was playing, there was an EV event. So there was lots of EVs sort of scattered around the Interra raids that you could pick up. So you could get like a form for every single. Practically, you get a form, a different Terra form for every EV. So you, you know, I, I, I probably said that completely wrong. You could get every form for Eevee. There we go. That's what I meant. And uh, my housemate, she actually did manage to get a lot of Eevees. I think she still has a lot of Eevees. So, yeah, she was like, if you ever need any, let me know. And she'll trade some with me. But I think we're okay. I think for the most part, I think I'm only now missing two of the different evolved forms of Eevee. So, we will be fine, I'm sure. But... We've just hit this Skiddo. Fortunately, it is weak against a flying type move. So that was nice and easy there to take on. So thank you very much. Goodbye, Skiddo. So I'm just slowly making my way to this Titan and seeing items along the way. And we've just picked up a Charm TM. Lovely. And then I've just gone and hit a little bug which is rather annoying. So Nimble, we've now hit you. Can you now go away? Yes, you can. Nice and easy. Again, bug types are also weak against flying type moves, somehow. But I'm also probably a bit of a high enough level to match them anyway, so that's absolutely fine. So we're just going to try and find our way around this incredible, weird and wonderful maze and take on a trainer while we're at it. Because nothing like continuing to level up our Pokemon. So this is Rayan, and he is going to send out a Diglett. Which Quaxwell should be able to take down nice and easy with an Aqua Cutter. And he does. Lovely. And now he's going to send out Luxio. So what are we going to do? We are going to switch out and bring Bonsley in as Bonsley will be able to do more damage than Quaxwell will be able to do against a Lightning-type or Electric-type Pokémon. Yes, it is Electric-types. It's not a Lightning, but it is kind of Lightning. I mean, it's a Lightning Bolt for the sign for an Electric-type, so... Yeah. Whatever. Speaking of, if you like Lightning, or do you like, if you like Storms, let me know in the comments down below, because I can tell you now, I absolutely love the rain. 
I do love getting caught in a storm. Not so much if I'm going out and there's a storm. I don't particularly want to go out into a storm, but I like when I'm caught in one for some reason. I don't know. I'm a very strange character, I know. I have very strange ideas about what I enjoy. But unfortunately, Quaxwell couldn't take on that skiddo. And now I'm trying to shy away from the rain in the game. And then fall down. And then realize, nope, oh, and then hit a rock lead. So I just, I just massively failed in a split second there, guys. Clearly, I must have had a seizure. No, I didn't. Really. I'm sorry. Anyone who actually does have seizures, that, that was rather rude, so I do apologize. But no, I didn't have a seizure. I was just being stupid. I was being a donut. Yes, that's what I was being. So yeah, we're going to take on the big version of those crabs. Which I know we have one, and I can't even remember the name of it at this point. But, yeah. And then another skiddo decides it wants to attack. Or we just knocked into it as we went by. So quick air slash should take that one down. Very nicely done. And we move on. Because why are we going to sit around and wait? No, we're going to move on. Keep heading up and finding our way to this titan. So we can actually see what on earth that titan is going to do against us. And also what we're going to do against it. And then, who knows, maybe we will figure out a way to do something else. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. I kind of completely just lost my train of thought. But... We've then found another Squawk ability, now this is a blue one. So, considering I'm obsessed with blue type Pokemon, this definitely has a blue type Pokemon, we can see it right in front of our faces. So, it's not one that I've caught yet, because I've got the green one. So, we want to catch this... Cratch? We want to catch this one. I, I literally cannot talk now, like, uh, this is the fourth episode I've just recorded in a row, and... Well, this is now the fourth episode I'm recording, and yeah, clearly my voice is just deciding to fail me, or my brain is failing me. I'm going to blame my illness, but I already know my brain. It's just my brain. It's just me. But we're going to make the Squawk ability fall asleep, and hopefully throw a nice little Pokeball and catch it with ease. Probably not, but we will hope for the best that we will catch it with ease. So close as well. So Squawk Ability did learn hypnosis from us, but we're making it fall asleep. Making it? We've got it to fall asleep again. We've made it fall asleep again. Maybe this time a Pokeball will actually work. It was almost, almost worked last time. It just, no. But this time, it did catch. And happy days, we've now got a blue Squawk ability as well. So that is the green one and the blue one now caught. Now there is a yellow one, and I am not even going to comment on what, if there is a fourth one, what colour that is, because I don't even want to begin saying it's a colour that is probably going to be wrong. So if you do know if there is another one than that, if it's more than three, please let me know down in the comments below and let me know what colour that is because it's probably the one that I'm missing and it's probably a rare one too so you know like with the Flabebe where there's a white one that's really rare it's probably a rarer one of this one as well maybe we'll see but we've now just seen a Shuppet so we've got to go catch this Shuppet as we are a Pokemon trainer after all we've got to catch every Pokemon that we find that we don't have already so we're going to try a Hypnosis but it doesn't affect Shuppet Oh no, it just avoids the attack, maybe. Okay. I know there are certain Pokemon that don't get affected by Hypnosis. Oh yeah, it does this to me a lot of times. Which is very annoying. So we made the Shopping Fall asleep, which is good. I'm going to try a Pokeball on it. I believe the Pokeball will not catch him. Nope. 
and I think it wakes up practically straight away. Yes, it does. And then it uses Spite again, which then takes more PP off of my Hypnosis. So it's very frustrating. And then I miss. So it uses Spite again. It takes even more PP off me. Uh, that out of context does sound very rude, I get it. So now I'm just really frustrated, so I'm like, right, screw you, I'm just going to attack you instead. And that was a mistake, because then I just one-bombed him. So, helpful. So clearly we're not picking up that shop pit. But maybe we'll find another one, and have a better look on the next one that we find. Right now we're just finding some more items, so that's rather good. We see a Gimmigool, but we go straight past him, and go straight for the trainer. I mean, I even heard the Gimmigool as well. You can hear it in the background. Just you hear the little coin sound and the little kind of whatever noise it's making. I don't know if we go back to it. Place just off of the top of my head. As now I feel like this was at least a couple of weeks ago since I did this part of the game. But you can keep hearing it. It's right literally not in front of our faces. It's sat on top of the signpost kind of just taunting us here while we're taking on this Happini. Well, that's Happini down. So Happini is also another Pokemon that you need a certain condition to evolve. So you need to get its happiness level up to really, really high and then it will evolve into a Chansey. Or you can just go catch a Chansey and then use a Moonstone on a Chansey. I think it's a Moonstone? No. No, no, it's friendliness with that one as well. So a Chansey, you have to get its friendliness up as well and then it'll evolve into a Blissey. The Moonstone's for the Jigglypuff. There we go. So yeah, that's it. there's lots of conditions. So I, I clearly just decided to ignore that Gimmigal. So it might still be there at this point. It might not be. We may have caught it later. Caught it, may have picked it up later down the line. But we just left that Gimmigal. So that's a coin that we've missed there. So, I don't know how many coins we've probably missed at this point. Too many, probably. I'm sure you'll be able to tell me in the comments below how many that I've missed. We're just getting by this knackly, nice and easy there. Couple of attacks, it's down. Happy days. Quick check of the map, see where we are. We're nearly at our location, so... You can actually see it right in the background. We can see the big crab on the wall. I think I notice it as, at this point as well. So Quaxwell comes out. I believe we get Quaxwell. Yep, there we go. So I send Quaxwell out just to do a bit of battling. Just get that last little bit of XP. It should hopefully try and level it up to level 28 as well. Poor Skiddo is just going to annihilate me, so no, can't beat that. So I'm going to heal up Quaxwell. And then head over to the big crab that we now see in the distance. We're going to parkour up here. Or fail parkouring up here. Let me try again. Come on. There we go. I was going to say, it's not that big of a jump. I know we get a higher jump later, but come on. At least do that. Well, we've arrived at our destination, and there's the big crab. And this is our first titan we are going to take on. Ooh, that's rather ominous with those, with those eyes. Ooh. No, I, know, I, did, I did know. I, I did know. I know... I said in a previous episode I wouldn't do the sounds of certain Pokemon, because some of them are just weird, but in this scenario, oh yes, Clawth, there you go. But we just kind of one-bombed him, so that was good. And now he's run away, so we now have to go chase him. He's just down there, so we'll just jump on him, and then cause a cutscene, and apparently I'm not underneath him anymore, and he goes and destroys that rock. And in there, there should be some Herba Mystica. Now this Herba Mystica stuff will, as he eats it, will make him stronger, 
make him more powerful. And look who shows up. Glebo, you found it. And that thing's the Stony Cliff Titan. No cloth has got any business being that big. He's right. They, they don't. It's gonna be even stronger now after eating those herbs. You don't say. Let's watch ourselves, Clebo. Okay, Arvin. If you say so. I mean, I don't like you, but I suppose we're helping you because we should. And I mean, it, it only benefits us if we do anyway, so why not? So now we're doing a double battle. So he's got his shoulder, we've got Quaxwell. We're now going to take on this cloth. Massive. Titan. Water moves, of course, are strong against this Titan, so straight away. Nice little aqua cutter. Does some good damage there. It's using its anger shell, which increases practically every stat that it has. But drops its defense in the process. Which is only going to benefit us, because then we do more damage against it. The Rock Tome almost wrecks that shoulder. At least it's not our shoulder, it's Arvin's shoulder. Because Arvin has then dropped the defense even further, which is lovely. And another Aqua Cutter should see us through. Or a Water Gun, perhaps. Thought about Terrestrializing. And I decided I'm going to Terrestrialize. Why not? Just for the sake of doing it. And we then get to see Quaxwell Terrestrialized as well. Which I don't remember if we've already seen this or not. But we're now seeing it. So being a Water Type, he has a nice little fountain on top of his head. So we go ahead and use Water Gun, which should, I believe, wreck this Cloth today. Yes, it does. Super effective. The Wild Cloth fainted. And we are done with this Titan. And he then just disappears. You defeated the Titan Cloth. Yes, I did. And got some decent XP for it in the process. Not bad. And Magikarp learned Tackle. Yay! Magikarp now actually has an ability that can be useful instead of just Splash. Alright, look at my buddy coming through like a champ. But these Titan Pokemon are yeesh. I don't know. I sure don't like having something so tough out to get me. Okay. I bet somewhere in here is more of that. There's more of that Herbamistica that I was eating. eating. Yes, I'm sure there is. Quick, let's have a look around before it comes back. I mean, why would the Titan come back? We we made it faint. It should just go. Right? Shouldn't come back. Maybe it does come back. I don't know. I don't think it does. Well, at least I already know it doesn't. So we're all good. But yes, let's let's go. Come on, we better we better be quick, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's be quick. Let's go into the cave. Let's see what we can find. Watch your step. It's pretty dark. Hmm? What do we find here? No way! And there's the Herba Mystica. This is one of the Herba Mysticas. It's exactly how it looked in the book. You and Arvin found the sweet Herba Mystica. Yes! We actually found one, and it's all thanks to you, Clevo. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? It says here that the sweet Herba Mystica is good for gut health and helps aid digestion. Says it's great for stomachs too, stomach aches too, or when you want to simulate stimulate the old appetite. Now, if I can just get him to eat some. All right, now it's my turn to show off what I can do. You're about to get a taste of my cooking. I mean, you're making a sandwich. You're not really cooking, but I'll I'll, I'll let you off, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, watch out! Here you go. I mean, he sounded like a blooming ninja. An Arvin original sandwich, packed full of herbs. And I'll give you a badge, you know, as a thank you for taking on that Titan Pokemon. I call it a Titan badge. Made it myself, using a replica of the gym badges, see? 
And we have the first Titan badge. For the Path of Legends. And look who showed up. Coridon. Because as soon as we have a sandwich, who's going to show up? But Coridon. Ah, what's up with this, that thing? It comes out of his ball on its own whenever it wants? Yes, it does. It chooses when it wants to come out. I have no control. Well, I have a bit of control. But, hey now, no, that's not for you. Do you want to give your sandwich to Coridon? I made a bear as well. I gave my last sandwich to him, so let's give him this one as well. Here you go. Jump, 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 snarf, jump. Hey, I went for all of the trouble of making that for you and you just give it away? I hope you realize that's all there is was, so now there's none left for you. Yeah, that's totally fine. I don't care. Ah, oh, come on. Now you're making me feel like I'm self the selfish jerk here. Here, you can have half of mine, but you better save uh, every last bite. Huh? You already ate the whole that whole thing. Oh, what's happened? Crydon will be able to dash now. Ooh, we gained an ability. What? Hey, is it me or is, has this thing sort of changed? Whoa, I can't believe it. The power of these herbs really is worth guarding. If they had that big an effort on your Pokemon, then I bet... Uh, I bet it'll come super handy for that treasure hunt assignment we've got. Yep, that's what I bet. Well, you've both filled your bellies with some of my legendary sandwiches. Guess it's time to tidy everything up. Oh, don't you worry about helping. After battling the Titan, you've earned a break. Just leave it all of this to me. I thought I'd be much obliged if you'd get started on searching out the remaining four Herbamysticus for us. Sure, why not? So we'll bugger off. And Arvin will clean up. I really owe you. Okay, the coast is clear. You can come out now. Mm. Who's that mystery Pokemon that he's allowed to come out? Maybe we'll find out later. Rota to to to. Hello, Clevo. This is Sada. I detect that Coridon has regained some of its original power. It seems it will now be able to dash at high speeds while you're riding upon it. Now you have Coridon dash ahead by pressing the left stick, but watch out for trees when dashing at high speeds. If you strike a tree while dashing, Pokemon lurking among the branches will fall down, allowing you to battle them. So that may come in handy. I hope you will continue to explore Powder with Coridon as you have done here. Your route is not fixed, but open before you. Seek out your own path using your map and the tools you have at hand. Whenever you find your curiosity peaked, all that you experience will help you grow in some way, great or small. Go forth on your journey and take care of Coridon for me. Sure thing. So that is the Titan now taken on. We have defeated the first Titan, Cloth. We have now gained the Dash ability, which I'm now trying to figure out how to use, which if I just read the thing, I would have figured it out. It's the left stick. But in the meantime, we're sending out Quaxwell, of course, to do some leveling up, so why not? I think he just took on a Splink there, which was rather nice. And again, just trying to figure out what on earth I'm doing. And that Clawf is trying to attack us, so run away. And then I figure out, okay, yeah, you got to click in the left stick, duh. So now he can dash, so now we can run a bit quicker, which is great. Also works when we're swimming as well. So, who's this guy over here? Oh, enjoy picnicking. This is a spot 
just about halfway, blah 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 blah, would you like? Here's some stuff to help you. So we give us pickles and ham and mayonnaise and mustard. Which come in handy for the ham sandwich that we end up making lots of later. Because ham sandwiches help us with levelling up, kind of. But there we are. I think we are heading towards possibly the first star leader. Yes, we are. We're going to set that as our destination. So that's going to be our next thing we're going to do. But the likelihood of that is going to be in the next episode, as we are coming a little bit to a close in this episode here. So I do hope you have enjoyed this episode as well and if you have don't forget to like share and subscribe but we're going to take on this gym gym we're going to take on this trainer who's an artist i believe laura the artist yes so we're going to take out take out take on her pavilion and probably take out her pavilion not out to dinner we're just going to take it out in terms of beat it. Which we have. Nice and easy there. Very nice. Thank you very much, Quaxoy. Nice and easy battle there. Some more XP. Can't go wrong. I think losing you has calmed me down. Has it? Okay. Were you overexcited or something? I presume. Yep, we're just going to sort of head towards the star location where the first star leader is going to be. And she is a fire, play, a fire place? Yeah, fire leader. So, Quaxwell is going to come in handy again for this battle. But again, that will be in the next episode as we are nearly done with this episode today. I think we're just going to sort of head back into the artisan village if we can jump over this thing. Which Coradon's having an absolute mare and not able to do it for some odd reason. So we then just go through the main entrance instead. Because yeah, it's the easier way to do it. sort of take a run around and find our way to another item or another TM which I'm having trouble trying to pick up there we go we picked up a fling of course while talking to that trainer we then couldn't even or person we couldn't even then see it with an artist technically because we have the same character model as the artist that we fought Yeah, we got another item and lo and behold we just smacked ourselves into that tree so like Sada said if we do smack into trees we could actually have Pokemon uh, fall down and actually attack us so but we've just found ourselves another Pokemon we don't have yet so I think we're gonna go and grab this one and then when this is caught we will wind this episode down so as I said before I hope you have been enjoying this episode and have been enjoying this series so far and if you have, please do leave a comment down below and let me know how, you, how you're finding the series so far. If you have any thoughts of how the series could be better. If you have any thoughts on what I should do next. If you have any thoughts on any of those things, then please do let me know down below. Uh, if you are playing this game as well, let me know where you're at at the moment. What you've got up to, what things you've done. As it'll be good to hear what... Pokemon you've caught as well. Also, if you're playing Violet, let me know what Pokemon you've caught that I can't see in my game. So then I know I can come to you and come and trade with you at some point, maybe. And perhaps we'll get you into one of these videos, which would be amazing. So, but that Pokemon has now been caught, so we are going to wind this down. So, as I say, I do hope you have enjoyed. If you have, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I do hope you have a lovely day. And I will see you in the next one.